they need to shed some light that if news is what it is supposed to be and it is has to have that moral standing and all those factors that we talk about why is it that the advertisers are only looking at numbers on news whereas that's not the only thing it's communicating i mean a, a channel can have 5% share but who's to say which 5% of people are watching that channel and what uh, what kind of tg is it bringing to the advertisers so the slicing of the data and the kind of uh, relativity that the advertiser needs also needs to be deep dived into because it's a small part of the portion perhaps a lot of these companies are not doing that i think that's my grouse that that uh, that's a that's a brilliant take kartik that um, so if you could quickly react to what he's saying uh, while as we just established the ge season and news are completely different news also i think the impact of news is uh, could have been a far greater pa parameter to to decide the uh, efficacy of a news channel so kartik is saying that why so much of emphasis only on numbers why do you buy both gec and news under the same parameter okay now i think we are getting into the deep end of things things will get a little bit more hairy and interesting great i think you raise a brilliant point look as media has become media planning has become more of a science there is a reliance on numbers reach frequency all that jazz and people will look at numbers and especially since they are professional managers who also have to sort of cover their backside so to speak they will be to using numbers to actually come out with plans to justify basically science to justify their plans so that said if i have to look we're talking genres if we have to look uh, at gc sports and all other genres and then come to news there are two ways in which we media agencies buy or do our deals one is linked to ratings and one is just a rate for 10 seconds that you guys are selling i would say that actually the reality is that news at least 50 to 60% of it if not more is being sold on a rate it is not only rating rating is looked at but as we stand right now people are looking at both second thing is that when you come to owner driven organizations you'll find the owner driven organization who doesn't have to worry about covering his backside they'll take punts and calls very well by say qualitatively i believe this channel is better or with whatever and they have a judgment it's not a gut call only it's a judgment and they are willing to uh, sort of go beyond numbers to actually take this take a call so i wouldn't say it's a complete uh, we aren't living in a completely sort of innerly number driven land i think it's somewhere in the middle it is much better than it is for a whole number of journals you need to be thankful for that can it become better i think the conversations can become better but uh, but but that's where it is i think the state of the nation right now is it's not a completely hopeless that people are not only relying on numbers i think another follow up question i think after we go around is is let's get into the numbers themselves i'd love to get into the numbers because i think with the with the vagaries with the kind you know with the with what we have from rating system and bark chairman is sitting here i'm also i lead the tech tech com of bark so we now have some idea about how the bark ratings and even for news actually happen i think we are trying to take too much out of those numbers too much and we i think that's a follow up question but right now to answer your question kartikey or your observation it's not so hopeless i think people are taking calls it's about 50 50 prashant you would like to add something to this yeah i mean <coughs> i agree with every point uh so let's face this i mean every brand does not have a potential 500 million customers to reach and that's a fact there are large fmcg companies where uh, i mean they have a larger base to attend to you know in retaining customers as well as recruiting new but there are many categories within that same category or multiple categories where they are probably looking for 1 lakh potential customers and as low as that we as a joiner has a much larger play on the upper funnel we have definitely have very engaging reach not just reach on those so there are clear opportunities right even if you want to read the numbers in a certain form the question is how are we narrating that story right how are we exchanging those conversations 
every table is a negotiation table and if it just only restrict to a currency of rate per 10 seconds then we both are responsible which is a buyer or a seller so let us understand that and today i would like to add one more point which i think is experience with everybody after two and a half years of covid we are in a situation this industry with almost 35% of the people are probably new now it's a challenge but i feel it's an opportunity we got to educate them right i mean we spend in our own organization spending enough more time of course today also there are challenges people coming to office but at the same time our single most you know focus is to continue train our people right so that's an opportunity for us to relate that i mean there are new people there are people in new roles in the client side there are new people right so if you're able to narrate the solution in appropriate form i think we can definitely make it much more faster right i mean the result is all what we know but if you want to look at the pace i think that we can make a big change if